Okay, everyone, so I finally found the time and the energy to record this eye widgets tutorial for everyone. So I'm going to show you both how to change the colour of the writing, because you may want to change it depending on your theme, and how to change your location code so that the widget shows up as your location. So first of all, I'm going to go into iFile. I've just downloaded the brown and pink with a widget from Lou because I assume this is a popular one and people want to know how to change the colours and the um, change it to their location. So first of all, you click edit, you click cut, and I'll just show the location for people that don't know. Var, mobile, library, and scroll down to iWidgets, edit, and paste. And how to set an iWidget, I'm just going to hold in the middle here, you can hold anywhere on the screen, long hold until your iWidget list pops up. Choose the one you want. It's better to have this user interaction tab on and click add. This one takes a while to show up but it will start fading in in a minute. There it is. And to move an iWidget wherever you want, you literally hold on it and it could go, it and the icons will go into jiggle mode. I don't even know if that's what this is called, but I always call it jiggle mode. And you literally move it anywhere you want on the screen. So I'm just going to place it in the middle here. Yeah. Then, to change the codes, it's pretty easy, but it can be tricky because the... Um, what am I trying to say? The file that you need to change can sometimes be in different places depending on which iWidget you're using. But once you know what you're looking for, you kind of just search through. And once you've got it, yeah, you just change it to your lo your code. So where is it? Yeah, brown and pink. And in this one, it's in setup, I believe, to change this is to change the location and you want to click config. And here you see that it's var locale. So this is like your location code. And for this one, it's in a number code, but sometimes it will be a letter code. And I'm going to show you where to find both of those and put the links below. So at the moment. For the number code, literally just use Yahoo Ever, type in your city, I want London, England, search, and you can see here in this URL that you want these numbers here. You don't want the dash, you just want these numbers. And you note that down, usually I'll save both codes in my notes, so whenever I want to change to an I widget, I literally just go and copy and paste it from my notes. So I'm going to click edit here. Type 44418 and click done. And for the rest of you who live in England, if you live in America, this probably wouldn't apply. But in England, we usually use a 24 hour format. So here you can see it says var am pm equals true set to true for a 12 hour format well i don't want it as a 12 hour i want it as 24 hour so i'll change true to false and this you know the sunrise and sunset thing on the widget it's going to be 24 hour clock now and also here var temperature unit obviously this is from lou and she lives in england as well so she's got it set to celsius but obviously in America, you guys use Fahrenheit. I'm not sure about other countries in the world. Sorry for my ignorance. But yeah, if you want it as Celsius, you'll leave the C. If you want it as Fahrenheit. Sorry, click edit again. Literally just go there. Delete, I mean change it to F and be done. But I'm going to keep it as C. And click save. I think those are the main things people usually want to change. And as I said, sometimes this var locale won't always be a number code. 
it might be a letter code that looks like these. So for this one, I'm going to link this one as well. You would literally search in this bar. I'm going to type London again. It's going to come up with Londons all over the world. And again, I want London United Kingdom. So this is my code in in the letter form. And what I've noticed, the letter form, the letter code is still the same from the previous jailbreak, but the number code has changed because my number code used to be like free something. But anyway, yeah, you need to make sure that you're putting the correct code because if I was to put a letter code here, then the widget just wouldn't work. It would come up with like a question mark or a blank square where the web is meant to be. So yeah, once you've changed all this information, your location code, if you want it as Celsius or Fahrenheit, sorry, my throat's dry, or if you want it as 12 hour or 24 hour clock, you click done and you come out. Go back, <clears throat> sorry. Then for, For the color code, sorry, in this particular widget, you want to go into resources and you're looking for the folder that C says CSS. And here it's got lock.css. Don't know why, but you want the CS, CSS <laughs> file. Then you, as you scroll down, basically, if you read these little headings, let me go back to the home screen. This particular I, oh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> this particular widget, you'll see that it has the time for sunrise and sunset, right? But sometimes you may have a widget that has time, the date, and the weather. So when you're looking through to change color codes, and note that the city is in pink, the weather description is in pink, the high temperature is in pink and the main temperature is in pink and the rest are in white, yeah? So as you're scrolling through, you kind of want to look for the sections that you want to change. But for this widget, it doesn't have a main clock. So this analog clock, clock pieces, hour hand, minute hand, second hand don't apply to you. You never want to change layer or overlay. Just keep scrolling down until you see something that applies to your widget. So we don't have the month or the year or whatever because this widget doesn't have the date. Doesn't have days of the week either. It doesn't have today. Right. So now we've come to city. This weather does it's not sorry. This widget does have the city, and I'll show you here. It says color. It's got a hash, and it's got six numbers and letters, and that's your color codes. Some of you may be familiar with color codes from other tweaks that you need to change the color on other things. But for those of you that are not, I'll leave a link for this as well. But I just have a bookmark saved in my phone called RGB chart, which is color chart. If it wants to open for us, come on. Right. And as you can see here, it's got a color wheel and then it's got a palette here. So I'm going to change it to a uh, Come on, this thing's freezing on me. I'm going to change it to your yellow just so that it will stand out. And what I want here is to copy this hex code because as you can see it's the hash and then the six letters and digits. So I'll just click in there. Select, copy, go back to iFile. And I was it was the city that I was changing. So I've got to click edit. Luckily, that kind of selects the whole section that you need to delete. 
highlight it, I mean. Delete. Make sure your cursor is in between the hash and the semicolon. And click paste. And I also... And just so that you're aware of what you're changing, you know how we said the other bits of the widgets were in white? Well, the white color code would either be three lowercase f's or six, or six large f's. So it's unlikely. You may want to change those bits, but if you just want to change the bits that are pink, then you don't want to change anything that has the f code. So keep scrolling down. Here we've got the temperature, which is the main temperature. So I'm going to change that as well. Just click paste again. Keep scrolling. Now we've got the high. Sorry. Where did I just see it? So, yeah, we've got the lower and higher temperatures here. Not all widgets have this. But this is referring to these two temperatures here. So in this case, it's the higher temperature that's in pink. Wrong app. <laughs> so I'm going to again click on this, delete that, and paste my yellow color. Click done. And the sunset here is referring to these times. If you wanted to change the color, you would go ahead and do that. Keep scrolling. So here it says humidity. And this, as you can see, the humidity is in pink. So I would again go to where it says color in this section. Delete this bit and paste my color code. Keep scrolling, oh that's it. So I'm guessing that's all the pink bits that I wanted to do. Click save, click done, come out and then what you need to do is to respring your phone to see the changes apply. And sometimes even after respringing you might have to reset the widget. Yeah, reset the widget for the changes to apply. But we'll see if it worked for us. Yeah. So as you can see, I've now got London. I've My temperatures are showing the same because obviously I'm in England, Lou's in England, so we're probably experiencing the same temperatures or near enough the same temperatures. Humidity's changed. And in order to change icon sets like if you don't like a the original icon set that came with the widget they usually come with a few options so in that case when we open up the widget this is where we were go to resources go to icon sets if i remember correctly the widget sorry yeah the set that is in use is called StarDoc 2. It may not always be called StarDoc, but basically out of the icon options that they give you. Okay, no, never mind. I'm just chatting rubbish for this one. <laughs> but basically, if you did download an icon set from somewhere else and you wanted to... Okay, let me restart. Say you have two eye widgets and you have an icon set that you prefer and you would like to use that icon set with one of your other widgets, then basically you would click in and just go to image viewer to double check that that's the set that you want. And here, so it's no, it's named star.2. So then all you would have to do is copy and paste the icon set from your other widget paste it in here, rename this to like star dot three instead and change your replacement icons set to star dot two. And that would save respring 
and that will change the icon set for you. Let me see if I can use another one just to make that clear. I'm not even sure which one of these have um, icons. I don't think any of them do. Maybe girl widget. Yeah, at the moment, most of mine are just time widgets, so they don't really have icon sets. But yeah, I'll just run through that again, because I was basically babbling. But if you want to change the icon set, you find the icon folder. Usually it will be called star.2 or something like that, the icon set that's in use. But you just go to image view and check. And then all you would do is copy and paste the icon set that you want to use as a replacement and rename it to star.2 and remember that you would have to rename this one to something else before it will let you change the um the name of the other icon set so yeah i hope that's helpful there probably will be more questions because that was so confusing <laughs> but at least i finally got it done for you guys all right bye